Here's tip number eight. And I talked a bit earlier in one of the previous tips about writing 50 offers, okay, to get six accepted, two acceptable, and close on one. Now, here's what happens is that when you start doing this, you find some properties. So you like these properties. And as one is, gets to be accepted, or you're negotiating, what happens is that you sort of fall in love with the property and then you stop making offers on other properties. So what I tell my students is that get your filing cabinet of 50 offers. They're normally they're the refused one. And on your desk, have 15 folders of a different color. And in each and every one of these folders should be a property that you're working on. What I mean is that you send the offer, the vendor comes back three days after says, no, yes, what, I need this, I need that. Because if you have 15 folders on your desk, you will always have something to do. And if one falls apart, you put it in your filing cabinet and you need to find another one. So your goal is always to have this pile of folders that you, you are making offers, you are doing your math, you're getting due diligence, you're talking with lawyers, you get activity. It's an activity file, it's an activity folder, if you could say so, where it keeps you busy and you're not sticking on one of these properties. So the best way to start in real estate is to actually need to go out and make 15 offers in one shot. You made 15 offers in two weeks or something like that, you have all your folders. Now all oh, this one goes apart, good. Now I gotta find another one to replace it. And that's what you need to do. You replace, you replace, you replace. So you don't fall in love with one in particular. And it gives you a place where you have three or four that you're negotiating so you're less, um, you're less, uh, how would I say, uh, you're less inclined to accepting what the vendor tells you because you've got other properties you're working on. Does that make sense for you guys? Awesome, I'll talk to you on the next tip.